Okay, so now let's go check out Sebastian's room. I got a um, free plant in there. You do? That's awesome. Yeah, I got I got a lemon tree, cactus, cactus. Before we get to Sebastian's room, I wanted to show you a few little things in the hallway as we go through the house. This beautiful little shelf is from Earthbound. We used to live basically right above an Earthbound when we lived in our old apartment. So I love filling this with kind of like my woo-woo-wee knickknacks and crystals and things. Moving right along into Sebastian's room. still even though he's almost five so he's still got his little toddler bed which is okay with me the next place we move into I'm sure he will get upgraded to a big boy bed or we'll get a twin size bed in this room haven't quite decided yet but I do still love his gray crib that my mom got for me when I was pregnant with him I'll put a link for it below because I do get asked a lot like where I got this crib more black and white in Sebastian's room I love it it just kind of gives us that neutral palette to work off of and if there's a color for the moment that I'm really digging like right now I'm really kind of digging those burnt oranges and nude tones I can always incorporate them in with the black and white but keep the main palette of the house black and white. So on this side of Sebastian's room, he has one of these cubby shelves with all of his different little boxes with his toys and his knickknacks. More really cute touches in this older home. There is a cute little built-in shelf right here that I have all of his books in. And then his TV and everything is right here at eye level for him so that he can turn on his TV when he wants. And um, he doesn't necessarily need help with all that anymore now that he's getting older. He wanted me to make sure and show you guys this. this is his lemon tree. So uh, a couple weeks ago we were doing one of the HelloFresh videos and he just happened to want to plant the lemon seed. I didn't think it was gonna work, um, but now we've got like a little lemon tree growing. How cute. And since I'm already sharing with you guys my favorite plants, I've got to share with you my um, other favorite plant in the house, which is... <laughs> I know, it's getting so big. Yes, I want to do a tree. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Hi. Hi, say welcome to my room. Welcome to my room. Welcome to my room. So what do you think about this string of pearls plant in your bedroom? Yeah, it's good, but it's getting longer. Yeah, it's getting really long. How long is it? It goes all the way almost down to the floor, doesn't it? It goes one, two, three, four, 22. It reaches up to 22. Wow. On the other side of Sebastian's room, we have his little display shelves. I love putting seasonal books up here. In fact, I really need to switch these out because we're in April and he's still got all of his winter books up here. I should probably do that. Maybe I'll get to that today. I would show them my little bat that's up there. Your bat? Yeah. So again, more fairy lights in here. We keep these on pretty much all the time. Um, that way it's kind of like a nightlight for Sebastian. They don't really get hot, which is nice. Uh, so they can be on all the time. How far Batty could fly. Okay. Since he's already my then that was amazing. Now I'm gonna show you guys the bathroom and the master bedroom. There's not a whole lot of room going on in this tiny little bathroom, but we've got a pedestal sink. You're gonna see some copper accessories in here. Like I said before, I can never decide whether I like brass or copper better. I wanna show you guys this really great find. So this really cute shower curtain is actually from Walmart, yes. That's right, this is from Walmart. I think it was 20 bucks. They still have them, I'll put a link for you guys below. It's adorable. I really like having these fabric shower curtains because that way I can use this on the outside so it stays nice and then I can purchase 
the cheap little plastic shower curtains for the inside to protect the fabric shower curtain. Also at Walmart, they have towels that match this shower curtain. They're $9. Um, they're not too shabby. I wouldn't say they're super, super soft, but they do look super, super chic. For having such a tiny little bathroom, we actually have pretty good storage. We've got two little storage closets in here. So this is the one where we put um, a lot of the products that we use daily. So Zach has his own shelf up here. Sebastian and I share a shelf right here. And then the other shelves are used for other storage, like for our towels and for Sebastian's bath toys. And then we actually have a second closet over here, which I use for a lot of our medicines, our vitamins, our bathroom supplies that we don't use quite as often and then our dirty clothes go in here as well. Moving on to the master bedroom. The master is another one of my favorite spaces in our home. Um, I do really enjoy my sleep and I do find that this is just such a nice, serene, peaceful room. I recently added my hats to the wall. It was super easy. These are just hanging up by nails. Last year I started getting really into hats. So that's where I like to store and display those. Also for my birthday last year, I asked my mom to get me a Target gift card. If you guys know me personally, you can always get me a a Target gift card for any occasion because you know I'll love it. So last year for my birthday I asked my mom to get me these really cute little side tables from Target. And also I found the really adorable brass nightstand lamps from Target as well on sale for $25. Yes, that was a good day. If you're wondering where I found this really beautiful upholstered bed, I actually found it on Amazon for $165 for a king size bed frame. That is insane. Uh, I did a video all about this, my Tuft and Needle mattress review video. Unfortunately, I don't think these pillows are available anymore because I bought them on super clearance sale at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. Then over here on this side, I have a beautiful dresser that I repainted to look kind of vintage industrially. The circle brass mirror I found at, you guessed it, Target. As soon as we moved in this house, I think it was the day we moved in, I was like, I've been looking at this mirror for, I don't even know how long, I gotta go get it because I wanted to put it up over our dresser and turn this into sort of like a vanity. So this is where I typically do my makeup. And then along here I have, you guessed it, more house plants. Um, so I made these really cute little white potting plants out of clay from Michaels. And then I added some cacti into them and they've been holding strong. I've had these for almost two years now, I would say. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it does actually really help out my channel, so thank you so much. And if you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And as always, I love you, I appreciate you, and I will see you very soon. Bye.